here we go. Another year. Another year. Tom Telesco doing absolutely nothing before the trade deadline. Uh, ten years in the making of him doing absolutely nothing. 2013 is his first year to make a good impression. Doesn't really help the team out. We did happen to get into the playoffs out of Rocky. Uh, I want to say 0-2 start, being up 28-7 to and then losing that game against the Texans. You know, the team with the only, well, they were 2-14 and team win. We happened to be one of the two wins. 2014, should have went to the playoffs that year. Didn't. We were one game out behind. Again, Tom Telesco didn't help us. Being one of the most injured teams in the NFL, you would think he would want to help this team get into the playoffs. Didn't. 2015 and 16, yeah, the whole move to San Diego, the vote and all that crap. Uh, the team was too emotional. Again, one of the most injured teams in the NFL. Tom Delisco did nothing to help this team. Okay, 2017, we start off 0 and 4, something like that. We end up going half a game away from being in the playoffs. Again, no help from Tom Telesco. That could have been a playoff year. Could have, should have. Didn't. 2018, yeah, it was a playoff year. We were 12 and 4. We were very lucky. Again, we were very injured. It was a very sloppy season. Uh, no help again was from Tom Telesco. Could have been something that year. Then we end up getting dominated by the Patriots in the playoffs. Like I said, no Tom Telesco, no help whatsoever. 2019, yeah. We were almost winning every single game, but we didn't. We, again, not received any help from Tom Telesco, which I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing that year because, yep, Philip Rivers was gone now, and because of that year, we were able to draft Justin Herbert. Okay, whatever. Let's forget about 2019. 2020, what will be? Five, seven-win team. Uh, you would figure putting in Justin Herbert and we were surprising everybody. We end up, mind you, minus the first game, of course, because we had Tyler Taylor and we still won that game. We were surprising everybody. And if you would have actually helped out this team, just maybe we could have snuck into the playoffs. But no, no, they didn't want to. We had Anthony Lynn didn't want to help out Justin Herbert. And we had uh, Tom Telesco didn't want to help out this team. Okay, how about last year? Last year, we had an opportunity to go into playoffs. You saw the troubles we had with this team. Our run defense was definitely trash. What did you do to help out this team? You did get us a kicker. Okay, besides that, you did absolutely nothing to help out this team to help us get into the playoffs yet again. So, 2014, 2017, and 2021. Now, technically, even 2020, you should have gotten this helpless. You didn't help do shit. And now, 2022. Another wasted season that Tom Telesco did not help us at all during the trade deadline. And now we're supposed to believe that this team, this injured team, is going to make it into the playoffs? No. Nope. I got no faith or little faith that this team's going to make it to the playoffs. Yeah, it could happen. But I just don't see it happening. Our run defense is terrible. That's all any team's got to do is run all over us. All our wide receivers are still very injured. And we, our offensive line cannot protect Herbert for nothing. We can't really tank. You got contracts coming up. People got to get paid. This was a do or die year. We went for Sebastian Day and we went for Cleo Mack. We were trying to go all out. But you can't go all out if you're going to half ass it every single year. Get two or three players and call it quits. I'm sorry, but this, this is how it is. This is what Tom Delusco does. He thinks if he gets two or three players a year, he did something. 
I said at the beginning of the season, even before the season started, I want Tom Telesco fired if we don't make it to the AFC Championship game. Because we had 10 years on him, and we wasted 10 years of having him as a GM. I didn't want him as a GM. I was fine with A.J. Smith. I was. Even though he was an idiot not keeping good players, he knew how to draft players. He knew how to get players before the trade deadline. He knew how to be a GM, at least better than Tom. Tom's got to go. He's a garbage court, uh, GM, and he gets us bad coaches. Brandon Staley, no. Anthony Lynn, no. Mike McCoy, no. These guys got to go.